Welcome to episode two of my podcast. So today's topic will be how to raise or how to elevate your vibration. Now horses are in fact demanding a higher vibration of a human. But the question is, what does that actually mean? And how can we raise our vibration? Now, one thing to understand is that we have an energetical body and we have a physical body. Now, for most or many people are not aware of that. And these two bodies are very much interactive. Now, to raise our vibration will mean that we have to take care of both of these bodies. Now, there's a lot of um, ideas or a lot of offering um, how to raise vibration that is inside of the field of doing something. So, for example, doing like doing yoga, doing Reiki, a lot of like spiritual practice is being offered to raise your vibration. Now, what I see that is happening is that there's maybe, to be simple, let us look at it from two, from the point of view of two types of people or persons. Now, one, one let's say what one type of person is is uh, putting more of his or her attention on the physical body and then there's the other type that puts more of the attention on the energetical body now both are missing the fact that these two bodies are continuously interacting there is a continuous dialogue between the energetical body and the physical body. Now, the question how to raise our vibration will not be what to do, but way more will be about what to undo. So this will be the first step. Now, vibration is connected with energy and so energy can can be of different vibrations we know this like for example the 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 thing about the radio that has um, different wave frequencies and according to which frequency you are choosing from your radio station you will hear the the program. What I find more over the side of the spiritual wor uh, world, the esoteric world, which not necessarily is spiritual, but let's say, so let's call it the spiritual esoteric world, is that the focus is a lot on the energetic body. And now, if we think that we can solve things or raise our vibration just taking care or going into the energetical world, this will not function. The same thing happens if we just take care of the physical body and think that we can raise our vibration by just bringing awareness or bringing kind of practice like yoga is a very very much um, practiced thing nowadays um, and that we can raise our vibration by just doing this now as we might see or as many people actually are starting to find out it actually does not raise the vibration in a way things don't change i know yoga teachers who at the end got aware that just doing yoga asanas will not change their vibration, not will not 
change their consciousness. So now here's a piece to the puzzle, what I think is very much missing and where there is a lack of awareness. And it's a very, very um, common thing, like everybody has access to this. And I, I am talking about another energetical body. And this is the emotional body. Now, the emotional body is a very interesting part of our creation. Because it has an ability that will take care of both sides. The emotional body is actually the connecting point between the physical body and the energetical body. Now, if you start to take care of this part, of this, this energetical body, if you start to take care of the emotional body, you will start to work on both sides. Now, vibration, raising vibration in the beginning of the path will mean, really mean to undo things because usually the vibration that we are in is being um, dominated a lot by our emotional body. I give you an example. Now, inside of the emotional body, there are, this is an informed field, and there is inf information in there from our past. Yes, it is the good old childhood past in which things happen that are giving one, the one or the other um, kind of experiences to a child that a child is not able to digest or doesn't know how to react. And it's creating emotion. It's creating feelings. We will have to talk about the difference between emotion and feeling, but this I will do in another episode. <laughs> so, now, here is here in the emotional body is being created feelings. And yes, it is possible to kind of storage feelings inside of this body. Now, here come in horses. Horses are very, very sensible and very, very sensitive for frequencies that are coming through from the emotional body. And the truth is that these frequencies are more powerful than, for example, our frequencies that come through our mental body. Now, the emotional body is very much connected to the physical body. So now what a horse does is that the horse senses exactly what's coming forth from your emotional body, which is very much connected to your physical body and which is creating your body language. Now, this is nothing new that I'm telling you. Like, for example, Wilhelm Reich, is, uh, one, of, um, the, one of his books is all about how certain emotions are shaping our body. Now, so if we are heading towards wanting, wanting to raise our vibration, we need to look into our emotional body and, and be aware or get aware what's going on inside of this body. So just working on the energetical uh, part, on the energetic body, like meditation, for example, in most cases will not raise your vibration. Because to raise your vibration, you have to have to have a full body experience. What you will have to do is to break through your behavioral patterns. You have to 
change the way your body talks or your body is behaving because um, like going up in your uh, in your vibration or frequency will mean that you embody embody things that are connected with a higher frequency which are love which are gratitude which are empathy um, being a space of love and so on now a frequency is something that you are it is not something that you do now if there are some whatever stuck feelings which are always wired around some kind of pain, your vibration cannot go beyond or, or go higher than the frequency that is stuck in your body. The thing to higher your frequency is you have to liberate or free the stuck feeling which is creating let's say, a lower frequency. Now, here comes also a thing that I see very, very dangerous in the esoteric world. Now, people do understand <laughs> that they should, um, should have qualities uh, like love, appreciation, gratitude, empathy, and all of this stuff. And that these are qualities that have a higher vibration. And then they say, well, and then there are the low vibration qualities like pain, like sadness, like anger, fear, and all of this stuff. Now, fact is, your physical body, which is very much connected to your emotional body, if this body is still holding some kind of unresolved, painful feelings, and I also like anger, fear, sadness are like I put them in into like these are the basic four uh, three groups um, your body will be um, dominated by so-called lower frequencies now what people do is oh I don't, I don't want to have a lower frequency I want to go up into a higher frequency but the thing is and here I think is a very very important thing to understand now you cannot just deny or say, okay, I want to have a, a higher frequency, but I don't want to have a lower frequency. And now what the thing is that is really very, very difficult or that is causing more pain than less is that now that people say, well, low frequencies are bad, they say basically that feelings are bad. Feelings of sadness, feelings of anger, feelings of fear. But this is not true. They are absolutely not bad. They are very, very important. Because these feelings, if they are inside of yourself, they are connected with who you are being. Now, if you are completely unaware of them and you are completely in denial, of them these feelings will be even more who you are being now bringing awareness to what is actually really going on inside of yourself is about bringing empathy to yourself when we are children for example we have children we would not question that Children have feelings, right? So, well, some people don't like some of the feelings that the children have, but nobody would deny that a, ch that a child has feelings because they're continuously um, showing them and communicating them until the day where some feelings are not seen, you know, like, like we don't, the family does not want to see some of the feelings, and some do have a little bit of a permission. Most of the time, in when we grow up, some feelings have permission, 
because the family, the, the surrounding we grow up gives permission to some of feel, the feelings and to some of the feelings there is no permission because the surrounding does not go, that does not like to see them. Now to raise your vibration will mean to free your emotional body from stuck feelings. Now resolving feelings inside of the emotional body is actually not so difficult. The only thing we need to do is getting present to them. Okay, if it wouldn't be so if it would be so easy, everybody would do it. There is another factor that is actually creating a little bit of a um, of obstacles that make it not so easy to getting present with feelings that are causing some kind of pain. And this is because we have built a defense system around hurt feelings. Now, if we are not willing to deepen our awareness into the emotional body and to deepen our awareness of what kind of feelings are moving in deeper layers inside of ourselves, we will get stuck in the layers of our defense system. And if we are stuck with our awareness in our defense system, methods like yoga, meditation or whatever will not help because we will not be able to embody the higher frequency beingness because our body, our physical body, that is so much connected to the emotional body, is kind of used by another server, is used by the unresolved feeling issues. So what we then are doing is that we are staying in our defense system awareness and we're trying to put another defense system over the hurt feelings of the emotional body. So now we use meditation, even meditation, or we use even yoga to not feel, to not feel deeper into what is really going on inside of our emotional and physical body. Now, one thing that you can try, which, as I say, it is actually not that, um, it is not that complicated. For example, if you are somebody who likes yoga and who likes to do one, one or the other asana, if you start to deepen your awareness into your feeling, into your feeling of who are you being in this present moment, if you start to open up to feel feelings, and this actually, you need an intention for that. You need to want to feel deeper. Without your wanting, without your intention, you will not feel deeper. Now, if you are starting to open up to actually feel deeper while you, for example, are doing an asana and you start to undo the shield or the, the body posture that is capturing your unresolved or not felt feelings, and they start to move and you start to feel them. Like, for example, you, I don't know, you do some kind of asana and, and you allow yourself to feel deeper and suddenly you feel, whoa, I'm feeling sad. I am actually really feeling sad. And you just allow this sadness to, to start to move inside of yourself. You just allow to perceive, accept and welcome your own sadness with empathy 
something will start to move inside of yourself and this will be energy. Because in the end, feelings are also just energy. But the low, so-called lower frequency energies usually are stronger than the higher frequency energy if stuck inside of your body. Now, it is possible, it is definitely possible, or actually it is necessary to have a high vibration frequency such that the lower, so-called lower uh, vibrational frequency can start to move. Now, but now here's the thing. Now, if you yourself are not able to be a space of empathy and love to yourself, how could you ever be it to the world? Now, if you start to be loving and with empathy to yourself, to what's going on within yourself, to stop doing as if everything is fine or everything's okay, or you stop uh, telling yourself that you should not have this or this or this uh, feelings inside yourself. If you stop doing this and if you start to open up a space of love inside of yourself, for yourself, now we are starting to talk about self-love. And now you will have an experience of using a higher vibration, which will be the self-love, which will be empathy for yourself, to getting resolved so-called lower frequency um, issues. And here I see where you will start to getting into a higher vibration. But this will not be doing some kind of meditation practice or doing some kind of yoga practice that is not connected with what's going on with you in, your, in, a, in a deeper level of your beingness. And feelings are very much connected to who we are being and more connected to who we are being if we are not aware of them, our body language is going to uh, tell stories about, about the unaware feelings. Now, when we are unaware of what's going on inside of ourselves in, on a deeper level, fact is that we are actually completely identified with what's going on in ourselves, not knowing that we are identified, but the world can see it and foremost first to see it are the horses that's why they are very valuable in this kind of uh, work to bring awareness to what's going on on deeper levels now by the time you are bringing awareness to what's going on the identification starts to vanish now you don't now you not being sadness now you are getting aware that you have some sadness inside of yourself, but you're not being the sadness. Now, the same thing will have to happen with higher vibration uh, qualities. And as I say, like, you have to embody the higher vibration qualities. And I tell you, if you are getting kind of uh, empathetic about things that hurt in yourself, you will see how your vibration is going to go up in a minute. Now, because if you, are, if you are being empathetic to your own hurt, what's happening? Well, you are being somebody who embodies love, self-love. So now let us talk in the next episode. I would like to talk about the difference between emotions and feelings because here's a big factor why we are actually um, not not going uh, this direction because there's a huge muddle about feelings and emotions and the fact is that actually emotions which are muddled for feelings are causing a lot of trouble in our daily world and there's 
close to zero uh, awareness that there is a difference between emotion and feeling. So this I want to talk about in the next episode. Just a few words um, about how horses play into this whole thing. And there's, um, there's something that I'm doing in my courses and the work with horses with people that is actually helping to see what's going on in the emotional body and to bring awareness into the emotional body. Now, the way I work with horses and I also then uh, have people work with horses is through energy. This sounds completely abstract, but if you are if you are actually experiencing this in a course or you see other people doing it, it gets very obvious. Horses make energy visible, energy dynamics. And to communicate with them, I use the dynamic of sending energy or I use the dynamic of receiving energy. Now, this is very simple. Sending energy means... You bring the, the horse on a distance, or you should bring the horse on a distance. Receiving energy means you should receive the horse, so the horse should come to you. It's very, very simple. But by doing this, all issues around the energy that's, that has the ability to send energy out into the world will get visible. And all the issues about receiving energy from the world will get visible. Now, to make it short, issues around sending energy will always be about issues around your power. And these issues around your power are connected, in fact, with all the feelings around aggression, anger, and also usually combined with fear. Now, the receiving side, the receiving energy, is always combined with feelings all around hurt. Do you have an open heart or not? It's actually as simple as that. All our painful experiences where we perceive something as hurtful are usually stored in, in the heart space. And this is also where you, when you are not able to open your heart, if you're not able to open up, Energy will not be able to flow to you. So the horse, in fact, will not come to you because they are very sensitive to that. So now the work with the horses basically is to getting aware what's going on in your emotional body. So for now, I wish you a wonderful day and I will be getting back to you on the next episode where I would like to talk about the difference between emotions and feelings.